Did you know that on Apple Watch you can measure how much time you spend under the sunlight? Watch the entire video and I will tell you how. Hey, what's up? It's always me Johnny and welcome to my new video. In this video we're gonna talk about some very cool app for the Apple Watch. And these apps not only offer some real useful feature but they are also really cool design. But without wasting any time, let's start with the first one. So the first app, it's called Grow and it's like the health app on the iPhone. And actually it does give you all the measurement on your watch and it can also measure your stress level. This is the app right here. This is the first interface that you're gonna see. And also, as I said, it can measure your stress level and it can give you some advice to reduce your stress level measuring your HRV and you can find it right here. Just click on the hamburger menu and you will find the HRV level right here. And it says normal, of course, because right now I'm not very stressed, but it will measure your stress level during the day and it will tell you if you need to reduce it. Right down below, it says your HRV is within your normal range, indicating that you are that your body is coping well with stress and has enough energy for productivity and activity. So it does measure kinda also the energy levels that you have. It's not super, super precise, of course, but it is something that you have. Right here we have this sun and it does measure the steps. It does measure the water that you drink, but you have to add manually, of course. So I skip this most of the time because I don't like adding things manually. <laughs> and then you have the quality of your sleep. And then of course you have the burn calories. Very, very cool app, especially for the HRV monitor and also measuring the stress level. Then second app, it is called Pix. And really it's another very cool app. And it basically utilizes every sensor to measure your energy level. So as you can see, it says peak and this is my energy level. So right here at 8 a.m. I was pretty much asleep. So my energy level, of course, it is pretty much down. But now that I finished my workout, my energy is at the peak. So I like very much how it works and it gives you pretty much an overall view of your energy graphic curve throughout your day. And as you can see right here, you can scroll through the day and also for a small part of the next day because it does also a projection of your energy level throughout the day. Very, very cool actually. So this to me is very useful because you know when you can do maybe some hard work, some intensive work, and maybe you will know also when you have to rest without wasting any time and be more productive. Then next up, it is called off screen and it just tells you how much time do you spend on your phone screen. And also it does tell you how many times you do pick up your phone, your sleep time, of course, but I don't have any data right here because you need a subscription for that. But I use this app for a very simple feature. When I switch to this screen right here, right on top, I have the focus mode. I can decide which focus mode I can activate. In my case, I usually have the working focus mode and I have it also on my watch face right here. So I just click right here and I'm tapping on working. And for example, I can use a timer that tells me how much I can do like intensive work. And when the time is up, of course, I know that I need a pause from the work that I'm doing. And actually, of course, you can pause and finish the timer. And if you go back into the home screen, you will see the timer right on top on the complication. Very, very useful for me. I use it pretty much only for this feature. But of course, you can use it also for other features that you have seen before. Then another app that we have right here, it is called Daylight. And it is this app right here. And it, it's very, very simple, actually. It will tell you basically how much time you have spent outdoor under the sunlight. And you know that spending time under the sunlight is a very, very good thing. And it's very, very important. So if you download this app, make sure to check how much time did you spend under the sunlight. And also, if you scroll down, you can see how much time you spend under the direct sunlight during the week. And this app is using the sensor on the Apple Watch because the Apple Watch have a sensor for the daylight, of course. You don't have any measurement on the watch itself for the direct sunlight exposure, but you have it on your iPhone. So you have to pick up your iPhone to see how much time you spend under the sunlight. But with this app, you will have it right here on your watch. And also you can set a notification 
for the daylight goal as you can see you can add or remove minutes as you want depends on how much time you want to spend under the sun but after all these productivity apps and cool up let's talk about some games to have fun on your apple watch while you are trying to lose more time the game is sneak.io and of course you can find it on the app store it's free so i'm just gonna press tap to start and it's very simple you can move with your crown very very easy so you pretty much already know how it works so you have to grow bigger and bigger very very simple mechanics but make sure to have connection internet connection because otherwise it doesn't work of course you cannot play this game offline to waste some time it is a very very cool game to have on your apple watch then i will remind you that some of these apps that i've shown you are free and maybe some of that requires some subscriptions so make sure to try them out and then buy the subscription if you use the app and if you like it for this video that was pretty much it i hope you like it if you didn't know any of those app let me know down below in the comments and also if you know other very cool app for the apple watch just type it down below in the comments if you haven't already subscribed to my channel just make sure to subscribe down below i mean it's free and it will add very very much so make sure to click the subscribe button as always thank you for watching my video and i will see you in my next one bye for now